Hey, Ray from LoveYourRV.com here, and today a uh, little project continue on uh, with the ceiling up of my roof. Uh, if you remember last fall, I did uh, some uh, resealing on the roof with this Turnabon tape. It's mostly just a uh, precautionary me measure. I didn't have any leaks or anything, but I've decided to seal things up with the tape before that happens. So uh, last time I did most of the back corners and all around the vents. Now I'm interested in getting into the doing the slide. Um, if you remember last time I found that the, the slide screws were all sitting up really high so I'm going to replace them with stainless screws and redo the slide with this tape. And also I want to do the front seam and some of the back corners. So I've got a roll. Let's see how far we get to um, you can go back and look at my other video if you like. It, uh, I sort of explained the tape, but it's basically white on one side and then you peel off this thin plastic layer and you get the sticky layer and you just roll her on, stick her on. Works great. The stuff that I did last fall, I guess it's been on there about eight months now. And it's, it's still as good as the day I laid it down. Really good stuff. So let's get up on that slide and, and start redoing it first. Beautiful day today. So if you had seen my previous video on uh, sealing my roof with the Eternabon tape, you would have seen on the slide I had run into a problem where uh, these screws they had put in weren't all the way flat on the board. They actually were sticking out at least a quarter inch, maybe three-eighths of an inch, and they had just blobbed uh, some silicone on them. So uh, I didn't have any any proper screws to replace them with at the time, so I put down the tape right over them. So now I've picked myself up some nice stainless flathead screws with a little bit of a thicker, uh, thicker uh, thread on them, and I'm going to replace the originals which were just your standard uh, everyday screw, Robertson. And replace them with a nice stainless flathead. Something like that. And then I'm going to run another uh, strip of Eternabon over that so I'll have a really nice seal along that uh, slide roof uh, rail there. Okay, so I've laid down a second strip of the Eternabon tape to cover my uh, new stainless screws. I put the tape in place first and then you can see I've got the plastic and I'm slowly peeling it back and then I'm going to smooth it down with my hand as I go. Seems to be a good way. I'm going to leave like a little overlap up onto the seam here so I get a nice, nice seal. And I'll give it a good, apply lots of pressure with my fingers there. Activate the, the glue in the Eternamon tape. There we go. So, yeah, that's going to give that uh, slide seam, that top seam, a super seal. I don't see water ever getting in there. Much better than it was. So I'm also going to tape over the, the edge of the slide. I notice right here I'm starting to get a little bit of wear through there and uh, it's likely from when I wash the roof dragging the, the hose gets dragged on there. So I'd like to put a uh, sealant across this seam, put a little, the Eterna Bond tape across there and that'll give me another layer of uh, leak protection, plus it'll give me some uh, physical protection as well. Okay, so I laid the top down first and stuck it to the top. Now I can uh, fold it under or over and get a good seal against that uh, bottom bar. Well, it's not a perfect job, but I think it'll do what I want it to do, protect that corner of the slide out. So, go down and do the same on the other end. 
when I did the corner last fall, you can see how I, I ran the tape down and around the corner around here so that it would just drop into the gutter. Um, so I think there's still some vulnerability in this corner. So I'm going to take a piece of tape and, and wrap the corner so that the water comes off into the gutter or falls straight down and won't get stuck up in here and possibly cause a leak. So I'll spray on some of my uh, Terma Prime to get a nice tacky surface. I've cleaned it all up and uh, I'll wrap some tape around the corners of the rig. There we go. So it's not perfect by any means, but I think it's got to be a lot better than than what was there. Just a, a little bit of extra protection for the rig. A little bit less maintenance on the die core sealant too. Ah, what a great day to be working on the roof. Late September, nice and cool. RV park starting to empty out. Okay, so I'm doing the front seam here. Putting that Eternabon tape along that seam. Just working my way across. You can see I just do a section at a time and peel off the backing and then do another section and peel off the backing. And uh, it's working out good. It's going to be much better than what was there before. So let's finish this off. Okay, so I'm close to the other end. Just wanted to show you uh, why I want to tape this seam. This is a pretty notorious seam for uh, leaky RVs. You get some cracks up here. And this is where the fiberglass joins the rubber roof. So there's a seam here. Also notice this rubber right here on this sunny side is starting to get old and cracked on the can't be good. So I'll just finish that off and wrap it around like I did on the other side there. Okay, so there we go. Got it along the front cap there and into the corner. And I've also finished up a little bit of a boo-boo down there, but it doesn't matter, it's just a crease finished up the side that I had started back in the fall and there's the completed slide so I've done all my vents around with the Eternabon tape now I've got the front cap the slide and then all along this one side and then I've also finished up the corners on this back. So that front part and this back part are where I'm really concerned about. It's where, especially these corners, that's where a lot of leaks happen. So now I've just got the one long side on here. I'm going to have to get some more tape so they can do that and then I'll be pretty well completed my uh, all my roof seams. Gives me a little more confidence against leaks. Cool. Until next time, this is Ray from LoveyRV.com. Join the last of our stay up here on Vancouver Island. Pretty soon you're going to see me coming from the southwest deserts. Instead of all this green and blue, You'll see a lot of red, brown, and blue. Cheers.